in this lesson for pronunciation day, elision in connected speech. Let's have some fun. You will be able to pick up some new ways to slide your words so that it sounds like you're naturally talking more like a native speaker because of elision. Now, we're going to look at four parts. I'm going to look at schwa elision, the T and D sound, t, t, d, d. They're so close in sound, um, air and voiced. The H sound that gets omitted, and then other examples. Let's have some fun. Now, in the schwa, sometimes you'll see the schwa written as an upside down E, but it has the uh sound, uh sound. And look at these sample words. You'll notice that in the middle, Oh, I forgot to underline the O. In the middle of the word, we tend to, because it's a schwa, it's a soft sound. It's not, str it's not strong. It's not stressed. And so it gets omitted when we say it. Yes, we write it correctly, but when we say it, we get a little casual and elision happens. Interest, 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 interest. You can hear that that sound skipped over. Similar becomes similar, 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 because we just slide right through. Library. My students have a hard time writing it because we don't pronounce it the way it's spelled. We say library, library, library. And then different becomes different, 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 and then tonight becomes tonight, tonight, tonight. Interesting how that kind of works. But I want you to know these because you've been wanting to know it. And it helps you to sound more native-like. And it's something that a lot of you mentioned that you want to do. Now the t, 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 and the d, 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 the air and the voiced, they tend to get dropped a little bit. They're about in the same place with that tongue right there in the back behind the teeth, not touching the teeth. D, d, t, t, t. My tongue is not touching my teeth back there. It's the roof of my mouth right behind my teeth. Now, when it's in the middle, it's kind of hard to force that sound. And so we tend to let elision happen and we just omit it. Sandwich becomes sandwich, sandwich. Must be becomes must be, must be. First three becomes first three, first three, first three. You can hear it in there. You and me, you and me, you and me, you and me. Ah, and then we stopped for lunch. Now we know some of those ED sounds can end with a T sound, but with that T, F, it kind of blends through that it gets dropped. We stop for lunch. We stop for lunch. We stop for lunch. Interesting how this works. Okay. I hope this is not taking too long, but you've been wanting to know. Now, sometimes the H gets dropped. You shouldn't have you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have, and eventually it becomes you shouldn't have. You shouldn't have. And I know my students have a hard time going, how do I write that? Because the way we say it, you shouldn't have tends to become you shouldn't have. Tell him, tell him becomes tell him, tell him, tell him. The H has just dropped. Okay, here's some example sentences of other types of elisions through the sentence. What you are, what are you doing becomes what you doing? What you doing? I want to go too. I want to go too. I want to go too. You can hear the elision happening with these. Okay. Iced tea. Iced tea. We'll drop that D because you already got a T sound there. Iced tea. Iced tea. Ice tea, and there's even places they'll they'll write it without the D, and they'll say iced tea. Now, ice cream, ice cream is the way we say it, but originally it had a D there. 
iced cream, the way it was made. And then, oh, my favorite, strawberries and cream. Strawberries and cream. Strawberries and cream. We're dropping off the A and that D. All right. I hope you enjoyed this.